Hey guys, good evening. Uh, it's me again, Grace Ronke Adegoke. So tonight is really, really special. Uh, yesterday, I promised I'm going to make a Malaysian curry today. Uh, Malacca uh, food in Yoya, basically. Okay. Um, so we took a journey a couple of years ago celebrating our 25th wedding anniversary you think i'm too young <laughs> to be married for 25 years yes i am anyway so um i uh, basically love the malacca food especially the inyoya curry and uh, i brought some uh, spices back and i've basically cooked it over and over a few times and it's a eat each time i cook this in yoya malacca curry everyone love it i love it i mean i thought my curry goat is the best in the whole wide world and when i rustle up this in yoya curry i realized that perhaps i should go through the curries of the world and make all of the curries you know, and um, uh, a couple of days ago, we made uh, a masala for the family, which was great. Uh, also, yesterday, uh, part Thai, uh, a part Thai yesterday. And tonight, guess what? I put the uh, pictures up, hoping that people will guess what tonight's is about the dinner and if you guess uh put your comment in there and let me know if you've already guessed uh on the other uh post that i did on instagram so i'm going to reveal the secret behind tonight's cooking uh it is an indian curry and courtesy of this beautiful woman who has made it really easy, you know. I mean, if you want the best collection of spices and something that is already there, made for you, put together, why not try this lady, Anjum Anand? Okay, and the brand is the Spice Taylor. I love this curry. The aroma, the flavors, and there are only three steps three steps i mean i made it four or five steps but anyway because i had to do some other things first caramelize the chicken you know you know dry roast it or something before i put all the spices in that's just my way so but there are only three steps to making this curry and this is a sure way of getting uh, what you will normally order as a takeaway for the family in the same way we made a masala we had a pad thai and tonight it's the goan curry uh the southern part of india goan so all of the spices in this cooking tonight is an influence of portuguese that colonized this part of India or India for so many, many years. If you get hold of this, I, I don't know this woman, well, I know of her, you know, and I don't have any uh, stake in, in this uh, Spice Taylor company or whatever. But if something is good, why not shout it out? I love this and I'm giving you the clue just to make a quick nice curry something you would normally maybe order in a takeaway you can make it yourself most of the restaurants are closed at the moment you want something you can't get it like i was longing to travel again to singapore and maybe go to kuala lumpur or malacca again this year and even touch in touchdown in australia because this is the year of my 50th and i had a zoom party in the summer and i wanted to travel this time of the year okay but i can't 
So I'm bringing back the sweet memory of Malaysia. And that's why tonight I wanted to cook in Yoya, Malacca and Yoya. But there is one ingredient I need to get tomorrow. And guess what? My cupboards are full of spices. So I pull out the beautiful Anjum Goan curry. And my babies love this tonight hopefully uh, i'll get thumbs up and five star rating in my own kitchen anyway so if you want to give this a go uh according to uh the spice tailor you can use this as a vegetarian in this dish what i've done i've basically put uh lots of cauliflower the white cauliflower and also uh, carrots in there and the spices with some chicken. That's what I've used here. And accompany it with uh, brown rice, the organic brown rice, basmati, uh, just to say, and also some mixed vegetables in the rice with a touch of coconut uh, oil. And I've also put a little bit of coconut in here and also taking out the extra chili from this pack uh, i've taken it out i didn't put it so it's not too hot for people who don't like too spicy food you can do the same there is quite a lot of information here to follow three steps don't forget whether it's your vegetable your fish your meat your chicken uh whatever you want to put in your goan curry you put it even if you're a vegan you have the cauliflower the broccoli the and also there is butternut squash in here i forgot to mention that and carrots you know put all of those in your curry so dry roast your meat first or if it's already per boil you know put it in the pan Put your dry spices, toast them a little bit as you do with most Indian curries. There are uh, three packs of spices in here, two pastes. One is the base. The other one is the finishing sauce. The first one is the dry uh, spices. And these are beautiful aromatic uh, spices, mainly you have the peppercorn, you have the chili, you have uh, the curry leaves. Yes, yeah, I've got some curry leaves in my herbs uh, garden. So, and um, cloves also, you have four items in the dry uh, spice mix. So, toast them in your pan. A little bit of coconut oil I've used in my cooking and also uh put the chicken in let it cook together almost almost dry roasting and of course once your chicken is more or less ready put the base sauce which is in a small pouch uh almost like maybe about 100 ml paste in with your meat or your vegetable and let it simmer for a few minutes and after all of that Add the last uh, spice into the mix. Um, top it up with all of your vegetables. And of course, because I have butternut squash in mind, so I put that in first before the carrots and the cauliflower so they can stay crispy and not too mushy. So, and it's all done. And also, in fact, the curry took less time to cook than the uh basmati rice though this is uh brown rice it usually takes longer to cook um that's it my go on oh no my uh i mean my take on ajum anand's spice tailor go on curry give it a go guys and let me know how you get on if you like it maybe try another one and be on the lookout for my Malaka in Yoya curry. Uh, in other words, my Malaysian curry. 
Malacca is the oldest town in Malay or Malaysia. So I was there. I visited the place. I tried all the food. We went to the coffee houses with our friends. I uh, went to Kuala Lumpur. I saw, and in Singapore as well, you know, all the tourist uh, iconic places. So thank you guys for watching and hopefully my Inyoya curry will be the next one. I will show you how to make that. Or if you know how to already, that's fantastic. Maybe we can compare notes. And please leave me a comment about this. And enjoy your evening or whatever you choose to do tonight. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. Thank you. And thanks for watching. So please don't forget to come back and subscribe to my channel. And also click the like if you like it and the notification bell so you know when I upload another video. So if you want to see me cook this uh, from scratch rather than explaining it, I'll do that. Let me know. Okay, so thank you guys. It's me again, Grace Ronke Adegoke. Have a blessed week. Mwah. Goodbye.